good morning students today i am going to discuss about how to prepare for first year mbbs exam in 25 days yes in 25 days how to make a timetable and how to prepare for all the three subjects of first year mbbs anatomy physiology and biochemistry that sir is it enough for just 25 to 30 days for reading first year you need not read entire 10 months this video is like a lost digestion mechanism because some students might not have read very much in brief but they will be afraid that within this one month will be will i be able to read well, almost 11 to 12 months course how can i read in one month so for those students only this video what i want to say is past is past even this 25 to 30 days for example your first year exam starts on january 19th so today is december 26th so exactly you are having 25 days so in this 25 days even now if you start preparing with some basic knowledge whatever i read before or you will be able to make a pass in all the three subjects but you have to be very sincere very vigorous studying in this whatever i tell in this upcoming 25 days many students were asking me doubts sir will i be able to pass sir i am about to start reading sir i may plan for next year so not necessary with this 25 days you can definitely get through this is for pass so today video only about how to pass the exam that is the first criteria pass go to second year and another reason for making this video is some students were all almost every time this is common for every students pathina students undu kepanga that is sir na padichathu marandu pona maar irukku that is they will tell sir i feel like i am forgetting whatever i read i very afraid sir don't worry this fear is normal just imagine if that fear is not there there is always difference you students might have noticed that is when you are reading for exam the way you read is different when you are normally reading every day class after the class what you read in the evening that way of reading is different this way of reading is different this you will be reading a lot of things because exam is coming so that is only the reason for that is a fear that there is exam coming we have to pass so that is no need to worry that when you buy mark sir buy mark sir that buy is normal that fear only in fact drives you to read more to do well so there is a lot of difference between fear and panic so what students you have is fear in general don't panic panic is different some students told me like sir 10 months ma padikala inda oru maasam padichu enna sir panna pora so for them also they can definitely get through that is for pass so this video is for pass not for knowledge that also i want to give as a warning now let's enter into the topic how to prepare in 25 days so we are having three subjects what i am trying to tell i am going to tell for this 25 days is general you have to categorize yourself because i don't know which subject you are strong which you have read already or which you are whether you are going to start now only or already you have read very well your varies individual to individual i am giving an overall view so accordingly you can plan main thing is motivation that first thing you can definitely pass no doubt in that so tomorrow for example 26 tomorrow to january 2 anatomy january 3 to january 9 7 days physiology january 10 to january 15 6 days biochemistry so anatomy physiology biochemistry i am finishing by january 16 16 17 18 obviously you have to read anatomy only no other because you are having university exam on 19th so now coming i will i will tell approximately for example i will go me being in teaching line of physiology i will give an idea for physiology for example i told january 3 you are starting physiology so i will divide system wise for example january 3 to january 9 i am planning 7 days so what i will do okay january 3 cardiovascular system january 4 gat excretion january 5 endocrinology reproduction and one more system january 6 general physiology my nerve muscle physiology and blood two days for cns so seven days i am almost trying to complete the portions of paper one and paper two this overall view i will put now coming to the specific for january 3 i am putting cvs so i will make the timings approximately so always try to make sessions like before lunch what you are going to read after lunch what you will read before dinner after dinner so we many of you i think most of them will be reading late night and getting up late and remember always six to seven hours sleep is very very important as the exam nears the duration little bit reduced but as of now i think six hours sleep is ideal because you are going to keep on read 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 so definitely you need nourishment to the brain which the sleep gives so you can't now itself you can't 
without sleeping you can't keep on reading very very important so now as i told in january 3 what to do cvs so 9 to 11 cardiac cycle 11 to 11 30 revision and another thing very very important mark the important questions in the particular system now as the exam is only 20 to 25 days you can't read the entire book so never you definitely it is not possible either whether you have read Guyton or GK Paul or whatever book you have read it is not possible to read the entire book imagine this much book you can't read in seven days physiology so obviously you are going to read only important things so mark the important questions for example if you take cardiovascular system which you are going to read on one day cardiac cycle, cardiac output, regulation of blood pressure, shock like that some important assess whatever you have marked from the previous question bank that turned all you students would have marked so cardiac cycle I will finish from 9 to 11 then cardiac output I will finish from 11 to 1 then I will go for lunch come back take some half an hour break relax then again I will start regulation of blood pressure 2 hours here very very important thing which you have to remember is after reading cardiac cycle don't straight away go for cardiac output please note this after reading cardiac cycle see that you check it I always tell that RRR technique triple R read recollect revise so after reading cardiac cycle try to recollect whether you are able to remember the cardiac cycle and another thing when you are reading cardiac cycle see that the charts the diagrams the graphs whichever is there it is registered in your mind if possible you can draw it cardiac cycle you have to definitely draw the diagram so see that you are able to draw the diagram and pictureize it very very important take adequate time don't rush time is there that's what i am telling because you have planned you have put seven days physiology and seven days all the systems in paper one and paper two are going to complete so no worry in that cardiac cycle after you read for one and a half hours two hours give half an hour for revision and the recollecting so that it will be registered very very important if you keep on reading cardiac cycle cardiac output bp without revising when you are going to read bp the cardiac cycle which you have read it might have got forgotten that is it will be there but again you have to read it again so to avoid that loss of time by reading it again after a cardiac cycle reading revise it immediately that is very very important that's what i will do for every topic rrr every topic rrr very very important yes. for example if cvs are having seven topics seven into two 14 hours now definitely being exam time these 25 days definitely i think you will be reading 14 hours you must read on and off you can take breaks because in general it is told that you cannot read continuously for more than 50 minutes to one hour so you can take a little bit break that is no problem no problem in taking a little bit break and while reading you have to categorize for example in some question banks this essay might have been asked 20 times 30 times so that is most expected more time for the cardiac cycle because it is expected university essay and for example in that cvs cardiovascular system itself bernoulli principle it's only once or twice they have asked in that cardiovascular system chapter means you can dedicate very less time for that Bernoulli principle that is we will not concentrate more on that but in case if that question is asked in the exam you should be able to answer so what I want to mainly tell is don't leave any questions unanswered sometimes these mistakes students will do for example what they will do they will take a risk like I think this time cardiac output might not come cardiac output is also is one of the expected essay they will do cardiac cycle thoroughly instead of 2 hours they may even take 3-4 hours to do it thoroughly like if they have cardiac cycle they will get 13 out of 15 marks but if cardiac output will come they will not attend at all so this is a big risk because you are going to lose 15 marks out of that 80 theory marks what they are going to write that, so that mistake you should not do so see that yeah, you have planned for 7 days in case if you are not able to complete some topics or some systems within that 7 days you can ask your friends or you can rush it that remaining extra topics so main thing is don't leave any topics without reading for example i told january 3 you finish cvs then again go for january 4 rs respiratory system same way before lunch i will be reading transport of oxygen transport of carbon dioxide after lunch regulation of respiration lung volumes and capacities before dinner certain topics after dinner so like this so what you make so like this every day so seven days we plan seven days we are planning all systems of physiology very very important it's not that today for example today december 26 it's not that you should be noting january 8 what you are going to read so every day one system and during that session 
you see that you concentrate only on that session. For example, when you are reading 9 to 11 product cycle, don't think of evening I have to read BP. So don't think that. At that time, 9 to 11 product cycle, concentrate on that alone. As I told RRR, read, recollect, repeat. Go for product output. So when you are reading product output, concentrate on that only. Don't think of what to read rest day. Very, very simple. Because you have planned. Don't worry, you have planned that these 7 days I am going to finish physiology. Next 6 days I am going to finish biochemistry. So make it simple. So read session wise. During the read session, read topic wise. After every topic, revise the topic. After every session, revise that session. Before going to bed, revise whatever you have read that entire day. RRR. So wherever possible, make that RRR. Same thing follows for anatomy also as well as biochemistry and you have to categorize. For example, some students will not like to read entire physiology one day. So they may divide morning, upper limb, afternoon, cardiac cycle, cardiac output, BP, evening, biochemistry, digestion and absorption, uh, glucose pathway, something like that. So that they have to plan the timetable accordingly. But think that you have to be reading based on your plan. Very simple. Some of the precautions or the common mistakes you have, which you have to avoid during this 25 day what you are planning and reading is never compare with other students. Like yes, we need within one hour. I am reading for two hours, not able to complete. So each reading will vary. So don't worry. You have already put the timetable accordingly only. So you have put two hours product cycle. You may finish it in half an hour. Don't bother. Accordingly, you are going to complete anyway. It is going to be compressed. No doubt. But you are going to complete. And some questions you will finish it. Based upon that given time, like I mentioned, if any topic you are not able to complete means you can ask your colleagues to tell them, even listening, I have already told in my previous video, even listening is a good type of learning. So always learn to listen also apart from reading, that is also very very important and very very important thing is rehydration. So see that adequate water is taken, at least 3 to 4 liters of water you have to take per day during this study days. And sunlight exposure is also very important, like 10 to 15 minutes per day sunlight exposure, which will give you a fresh air. So you need fresh air also, your mind should be fresh for reading. So that also you should take into mind. Take a walk in between as I mentioned after your session, for example, 10 to 12, you are reading. Take a break, 12 to 12, 10 just to walk, like recollecting. Even You can even listen to music a little bit for 5 to 10 minutes after every session. So giving break, adequate breaks is very very important because it is very very difficult. You are going to read 14 to 15 hours per day, you can't keep on continuously reading. So giving a break is very important. After every session, give a break. So the final summary of this video is make these 25 days into 3 periods like anatomy 8 days, physiology 7 days, biochemistry 6 days. Within that 7 days of physiology, make it into sessions like 1 day CVS, one day RS and endocrine, one day GIT excretion, one day general physiology. In that CVS day, make topics like 9 to 11 cardiac cycle, 11 to 1 blood pressure. When you are going to read the topic, don't think of the future topics which you are going to read. Don't think of the other systems. Just to concentrate on that. While reading the topic, after the topic, don't go to the next topic. Revise the topic then and there itself. RRR, next topic. RRR next topic and after finishing the CVS that night go for a revision of half an hour to one hour whatever you read this is very very important then next day next system so this continues for anatomy physiology biochemistry and the latest precautions which I told just before all those things also should be followed so don't be afraid I hope this video would have been useful for you so all it is in your hands it all depends on your mindset and the way you are going to go through these 25 days. All the best for the upcoming exams. All of you will be passing the exams. So please share this video to all your friend circle so that it will motivate them and it will be useful for them. And if you have not subscribed my channel, please kindly subscribe my channel so that you will get the notifications of the upcoming videos related to exams and as well as our subject. So thank you. We will meet in the next video. All the best once again for your exams. Happy reading.